discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. Hi, I am Dr. Linda Riesar, a professor at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine in the departments of medicine, oncology, and pathology. I've also had a longstanding appointment in pediatrics. I'm a pediatric hematologist oncologist, and I'm a faculty affiliate of our Institute for Cellular Engineering. I also co-direct the Hopkins Blood List program, where we use growth factors and other approaches to coax our patients' blood stem cells to generate more blood, particularly for those who cannot receive transfusions. My research team is focusing now on blood stem cells and cancer biology. Blood stem cells are relevant to many human diseases, such as leukemia, which in fact is diagnosed in over 60,000 people in the U.S. every year, or 300,000 globally each year. This occurs in our most vulnerable populations. Almost 4,000 U.S. children will develop leukemia each year, but it is more common in older folks. Unfortunately, the number of people with leukemia is expected to rise as our populations age globally. Stem cell function is also important in pre-leukemia syndromes, such as myelodysplastic syndromes or myeloproliferative neoplasms. Blood stem cells also play a central role in a newly recognized but common condition called clonal hematopoiesis, which occurs in at least one in five people over the age of 70 or 80 years. In clonal hematopoiesis, our blood stem cells acquire a mutation with normal aging and normal cell division that enhances their fitness, allowing the stem cells to expand, but it also makes them more susceptible to acquiring mutations that cause leukemia or MDS. While therapies are often effective in childhood leukemia, they are highly toxic. In contrast, older folks, particularly those over 60, Therapy in leukemia is very ineffective. Leukemia is very highly lethal in this population. So in order to develop therapies to hopefully prevent normal or mutated cells from transforming into leukemia, or to better treat these processes once they develop, it is critical to unlock the genetic mechanisms underlying their development. So with Maryland Stem Cell Research Funding, we are studying a fascinating protein in blood stem cells called high mobility group A chromatin regulator or HMGA1, which is abundant in normal stem cells where it helps these cells to have all of the capacities that are characteristic of stem cells. That is the remarkable ability to self-renew or create an identical daughter cell or differentiate into mature cells to replace damaged, diseased, or lost tissues. In fact, the green cells behind me actually are gut stem cells, which are maintained by HMGA1. And this is important because our gut lining cells need to be replaced every five days. By contrast, we now know that HMGA is abnormally activated in our stem cells during transformation to cancer, such as leukemia or most solid tumors like colon, breast, lung, and prostate, among other cancers. Our current work focuses on HMGA in blood and bone stem cells, which are actually closely related because blood is made from blood stem cells, also called hematopoietic stem cells, which are located within the marrow or central regions of our long bone. And this uh, region in the bone provides a protective and nurturing environment, which we call a niche that is essential for normal blood cell production. We discovered that HMGA1 is critical to many stem cells. It acts as a key molecular switch, flipping on genes that are required for stem cell function and rapid growth. Intriguingly, HMGA is primarily needed during stress, such as after exposure to radiation, chemotherapy, or bone marrow transplantation, or when our blood stem cells acquire a specific mutation that could lead to leukemia. So with Maryland Stem Cell Funding, we're using an exciting gene editing technology called CRISPR, which you may know acts as molecular scissors that can be engineered to modulate expression of a gene like HMGA. So in leukemia, we hope to dampen its expression versus a damaged stem cell where we hope to modulate and enhance its expression and function. We're looking for new therapies that will prevent mutated blood stem stem cells from developing into leukemia or MDS. And as I alluded to, we're also looking for approaches to improve stem cell function after injury or other stresses.
accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.